Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to walk through how we got internet in the middle of the desert and how we bridged a signal about three quarters of a mile away from our Starlink. Okay, so we, before we get into the video, I just want to show this diagram so you can kind of follow along. I'm going to walk you through how we set this up and I'll have a little surprise for you about halfway through the video. So this was actually super simple to set up. You just have your internet. The internet goes to this first bridge and you put this bridge at A and then select channel, we'll say channel one. And then down at the swing, you select B and then you put it on channel one. And then you just raise them up and point them towards each other. Okay, so here's the setup that we have. We have the Starlink antenna. The Starlink antenna is wired going into the trailer. And we'll go into the trailer to show you what we got going on in there. Um, it's a little messy, it's still a work in progress, but what we got is two down here, two 12 volt, 400 milliamp hour self-heating batteries. And that's, uh, they're getting recharged by some solar panels on the roof of the trailer that you can't see right now. But what we have is the Starlink antenna is coming in plugged into the router. Now normally it's a direct plug-in from the antenna to the router. In order to get the bridges to work, need to buy this Starlink splitter. This will allow you to split in the bridge. So we have the antenna to the router and then from this splitter we have the cord going power over ethernet to plug in here and then on the other side going out we have the ethernet cord going out to the bridge. So that's the setup in the trailer. Um, it's not too complicated, but you will need to buy this splitter if you don't have it in order to split in the bridge right here. So here's the bridge. Um, I just got this off Amazon. It's called, the brand is UV, UEV. I actually don't know how to say it. And it's pretty simple. Um, this ethernet just runs up into here and there's a few switches under here um, and I will take this off and kind of show you what we got going on under there so you can see the ethernet plugs in um, there's a digital display that tells you what channel you're on and then there's a switch right here it's an a B switch and one of them's a transceiver, one of them the receiver. You have to have one set to A and the other one that's down at the swing down there, you have to have set to B. So from here to our camp, um, to the rope swing, which is about way down there, it's about a half mile, maybe three quarters of a mile in distance. All right, let's see. Let's see what kind of speed we get right here at the Starlink. Let's do a speed test. We're pulling 75. Oh, it's going down a little bit. Looks like about 69.21 right here at camp. So let's head down to the swing and show you the setup that we got down there. It's like uh, someone's about ready to jump. Let's go see, go see him jump. <laughs> I just feel like all right so there's our second bridge down here at the swing and let's go over there and show you what's what kind of setup we got down here we have this bridge facing 
to the bridge that's up at the campsite. And then same deal as up there, I've got an ethernet cord running from the bridge down the pole to this plug. And I've got this Sinku battery pack um, that we're plugged into and this thing is at 77% and we've been plugged in for about four hours. So really it doesn't draw a lot of power at all. Um, and let's do a speed test. Looks like we're getting 21.42 download speed. Not too bad. And uh, again, we've got the Starlink at the campsite up there hooked to a, a point to point bridge and that bridge is pointing to this bridge and this bridge is actually emitting the internet um, the signal that we need and that we're connected to from right there I, I, mean, I don't even need you don't need a router um, it, it does everything in that, that bridge up there and now we have internet down here at the rope swing, which is very convenient.